Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Carroll and uh, let's talk a little bit about the AI revolution and let me be crystal clear. There's a seismic shift that's happening in the tech world right now and if you're not paying attention, you're going to get left behind, okay? Uh, this isn't some Silicon Valley hype train. It's about who's winning and who's scrambling to catch up right now. Uh, and at the center of it all, or at the depths of it all, Deep Seek AI. Uh, here's the thing, big tech, they want you guys to believe that they're untouchable. But yesterday's headlines, I think, told a different story. When Deep Seek AI unveiled their latest model, it sent shockwaves through the industry. Stock prices dropped, and, uh, analysts were stunned, and suddenly the biggest players weren't looking so invincible anymore. Why? Because Deep Seek AI isn't playing by the old rules, they're rewriting them. And uh, let me break down some points that I want to share with you guys today in this emergency video. Number one, they're doing more with less. While others are hoarding cutting edge chips and spending billions on hardware with NVIDIA, DeepSeek AI is running circles around them with half the resources. They're using NVIDIA's H800 chips, which are way less advanced than the H100 chips that are used by giants like OpenAI, Meta, which is a llama, and then Elon's Ventures, uh, XAI. And yet they're delivering comparable, if not, honestly, after yesterday, there was some benchmark testing. Um, they're, they're performing better than the people that we have here in the States. And so efficiency like this, I think, is a master class in engineering, which has a lot of people asking, like, are the Chinese engineers just simply better than what we have here in the States? And what's that look like as it pertains to national security? <coughs> Excuse me. Number two, precision that matters. Uh, this isn't about flashy features or gimmicks. Deep Seek AI is focused on what matters, which is extracting real, actionable insights from data. Uh, forget the noise and the fluff. This is AI that's built to deliver where it actually counts, which is on business results. Remember, at the end of the day, the markets only care about how this helps the financials of both the AI companies and the bigger companies that are publicly traded. Number three, revolutionary training approach. This is the big one. This is the one that really, I think, um, set off kind of the seismic shockwave, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, DeepSeek's AI models, uh, they, they didn't just like outperform the competitors. Um, you know, it's, it's redefining how they train these AI models, right? And so if you're not familiar with this, these large language models, they have to be trained. And uh, instead of relying solely on supervised learning, right, feeding them data, uh, they leaned into, and deep seek as they, leaned into reinforced learning, RL, uh, as it's called in the industry, a method that emphasizes learning through trial and error. And by incorporating feedback uh, through a reward system, the AI was able to refine its reasoning capabilities to optimize the output performance, right? And so essentially this thing is able to learn faster and better than what we're creating here, and it's doing it with less advanced chips. Uh, this approach not only cuts down on the need for uh, massive labeled data sets, but also reduces training costs, making their system more efficient and adaptable. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a clear departure from traditional trainings and methodologies used by companies like OpenAI and Meta uh, and showing how DeepSeek AI is forging its own path. Number four, the headlines speak volumes, right? Uh, just listen to what the experts are saying. They're all over the news yesterday. Sarah Jenkins from TechEdge, she called it the most disruptive AI model in recent memory. Mark Bradley is a top financial analyst. Uh, he said that DeepSeek AI has turned the industry on its head. The big players should be worried, and they are. I agree uh, with Mark on that one. Uh, I think a lot of these people are scrambling right now. Uh, this isn't marketing spin, okay? Uh, it's the reality of a market upheaval, okay? And I don't think we're at the end of this. It's just the beginning. Point number five, disruption isn't comfortable. Yesterday's market sell-off... <laughs> That wasn't comfortable either if you own AI stocks. Uh, was proof that DeepSeek AI is shaking the foundation of the AI landscape. And let's be honest, disruption makes people uncomfortable. Elon, Zucks, Sam Altman, I'm sure they're very uncomfortable right now. 
Uh, but here's the other truth is that comfort breeds complacency and complacency gets you left behind. Uh, that's true not only in AI, but in all of business. Number six, a real alternative to open AI. Let's not dance around it. Open AI is versatile. It's great for writing essays, giving you prompts and talking to it and generating ideas. But deep seek AI, I think it's going to be the heavyweight champion for business uh, that demand results. It's not about brainstorming. It's about executing and executing with precision. And I think the Chinese do a great job of that. Uh, now, let me ask you, are you following these headlines? Did you see everything yesterday? How do you think this impacts not only AI here in the United States, but also maybe national security? Um, let's hear your thoughts. I want to know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read those, and I'll be sure to put out more videos around this to keep you guys updated. Until next time, I'm Coach Carroll. Here's to your success. Hustle, it's worth it.